Vigilance must have put a few dings in your armor. I can help you replace it. Let's get you set up. See ya. Gotta hand it to you. You really won this one for us. <laughs> you should have seen me. I took out three of the Sistef suckers in one blast. <laughs> I told you that gun would suit you. <laughs> Imagine how many more kills you would have gotten if you bought the whole suite. Huh? Yeah, but it was TK's armor that gave me the confidence to charge right in. See, it was money well spent. You might even say our wares complement each other. Huh? Well, TK, I guess you aren't a complete waste of space after all. Salutra, I'll take it. Oh, you two, get a room. Well, if it isn't the pirate who saved the fleet, it's good business having you here. I bet you're just itching to spend all those legacy credits at my store. Whatever you need, as long as you can afford it. Done here? Fine by me. only got the legacy, but the vigilance is now ours. We really did it, didn't we? Now that we've got the legacy, I might work on a few personal projects. Oh, I have Tons of thoughts. Forget the legacy. That's my prize. I want to pry that thing open right now and start tinkering. But Delgado might want to keep it intact to use as a warship. I told him if I break it, I'll just build him a new one. It's not like we don't have the money. All right, let's see what you need.
prayers flowing from the legacy. Now we're back to the planning phase, so no big jobs for a while. It's nice to know. Sunshine.
Parity, so security is only here for your safety. Have a great day. This is even better than in the brochure. Why did I think three days was going to be enough?
Kill him! Leave nothing left but space dust! You won't last long!
Grab drive spinning down. Systems green.
hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. And that's it. Enjoy Neon.
contraband. Scan complete. Go ahead and land.
us while we scan your ship's cargo. Scan complete. You are cleared to land. More in the back if you're not seeing. If you don't see what you want. Oh, please take a look. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. If it belongs on your ship, then I'm sh Oh, please, take a look. Thanks for coming in. It's cliche, but it's true. Of course, of course.
Pleasure dealing with you. Selling art is a bit of an art itself. Well, well. Back for more, eh?
Things on your mind. You can tell me. What did you need?
foot up your ass, newsboy. That a big enough scoop for you? I really don't think that's appropriate talk, coming from a Vanguard pilot. That's exactly your problem! You don't think! If you weren't such a lousy reporter, you wouldn't be stuck all the way out here! I mean, I guess maybe that's true, but... Uh, if so, you're just as stuck out here as I am. So what does that say? Oh, wow! You really do want me to kick your ass, don't ya? All right, that's enough. Bastion, go cool off. Get a drink. Whatever. Fine. Holden, I appreciate that you have a job to do. I really do. But you need to consider that you don't operate in a vacuum. If you're stationed here long term, that means you're around these people all day, every day. And they're not going to like it if you're making them look bad. Lieutenant Commander Marquez. I appreciate your concern, but I have an obligation to SSNN to report on what I see. I'm sure they do know that, Holden. I'm just saying, maybe use a little more discretion in your reporting. Maybe a lot. Don't worry. When the next big story breaks out here, I'll be sure to help you get the scoop, okay? I will think on that. Thank you. Always a pleasure to meet someone new. Welcome to the Trade Authority. I'm Marcel, and if there's anything, anything, I can do for you, please do let me know. Our stock may not be as vast as New Atlantis or Sidonia, but I will do my best to see that you leave here satisfied. And seeing as the Trade Authority is the only fully licensed operator for the Den, I'm afraid your alternatives are, shall we say, slim. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and I hope this and all future interactions are profitable for both of us. It's very kind of you to offer, but I am currently not in a position to personally require your services. There are, however, likely some Trade Authority contracts available at the terminal down in the bar. I'm sure you're already aware that the Trade Authority is quite generous when it comes to completing said contracts. If there are deals to be made, you'll find that we'll go to great lengths to take advantage of them. My primary role here is to oversee logistics operations for our many trade routes in the area, but I convinced my superiors that it was worth setting up something more customer-oriented. I'm told that they are quite pleased with the results. I hope we have what you need. Is there something you need? Certainly. It's a little surprising, isn't it? Out here on the edge of UC space. Pressure normalizing, undocking complete.
Captain. Hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. to be back on the key for now a bit. Now that we've got the legacy, I might work on a few personal projects. See you around. Every captain here's earned their stripes. Bleeding. As long as you put the fleet first, we won't have any problems. So there I am. You see security on my tail, and my grav drive just chokes. And you know what I find back there? The fattest leech I've ever seen. Worm nearly got me dusted. The legacy is ours. Leave the rest to me. Managing finances on this scale won't be easy. But make no mistake, I'm well equipped to handle it. I don't foresee any changes, no. Yes, we'll recruit more pirates to take on the jobs, but we'll also have more intel to add to the boards. Of course, I do expect the success rate of each mission to improve dramatically. With the added funds, our ships will have enough firepower to handle their targets much more expeditiously. We have contacts throughout the settled systems that require shipments of illegal goods. Smuggling requires a bit of subterfuge since we'll be loading up your ship with contraband. If you want to make that delivery without getting caught, you'll need shielded cargo space to accommodate the goods. Good, because I do hate repeating myself. I'm constantly scanning for valuable shipments. You'll be given a target ship transport and the system to track them down. Just be sure you have the cargo space to get the goods. Very. You'll get a location with the target goods. We don't care how you get it, as long as you deliver. You get caught, that's on you. If you need credits, you know where to find me. When I understand, you're a bit of a hero around these parts. Congratulations. What'll it be, friend? Buying? Selling? The Trade Authority takes anything and everything. The fleet's got an impressive commerce system. They even manage a legitimate doctor among their ranks. Business on the key is like no other. It's the sole reason I'm here for the credits. It's the mutual benefit. The Trade Authority buys any goods of value. We don't care how you got it, only that we can profit from it. It's the fastest way to turn your hard-earned loot into legitimate credits, ready to spend. So, naturally, it made sense to establish a presence here. Why risk flying into New Atlantis or Aquila City when you can just do business here? I'd say it's been about 10 years now since the Trade Authority assigned me this post. It felt a little extreme at the time, but I can see why they figured it was a good fit. There are a few who share that sentiment. You'd think a successful business relationship would change their minds, but a few will always see me as an outsider. 
Regardless, as long as the fleet has goods to push, the Trade Authority will always maintain a presence on the key. I left a similar lifestyle behind when I joined the Trade Authority and never looked back. A lot of the rooks here see freedom and lawlessness, but that's only if you don't get caught. True freedom is not having a bounty on your head with every cop and mercenary out to get you. Let's just say I've done my fair share of questionable activities in the past. With the credits I amassed, I gave the Trade Authority a sizable donation in exchange for a clean slate and a stable job. So, here I am, at your service. I hope you're not low on credits. Remember, all trades are restriction-free. Only don't even try to rip me off. Hey, I'm always ready to take credits off your hands. I sell a little bit of everything, but only if it's hard to find, and only for a high price. Neuroamps, a few unique resources, maybe a specialized weapon or two, anything that's rare and in high demand. I was raised fleet. My mama joined up when I was 12. She was a first-class smuggler. We'd always lived comfortably, but she took the offer to join when a job almost went south. She figured if anything ever happened to her, it guarantee I'd still have a home. It's been non-stop. Even as a kid, I was helping distract security in those smuggling days. It's amazing how just having a child aboard, especially one as cute as I was, can throw off the scent. Between my mama and the fleet, I can talk my way out of anything and use or fix any weapon and ship in the galaxy. Real life skills, if you know what I mean. Come back and see me sometime. Yeah.
I... Sarah is the best possible person to be running Constellation at a time like this. Focused, no nonsense, and dedicated. It's hard not to feel some regret, even some blame. No one is individually responsible, but I am the one paying the bills. But at least now, we really know the stakes. What we might lose if we go forward, and I think we need to go forward. Agreed. We stop now, and they win. I'm not accustomed to losing. Constellation needs to see this through, no matter what. Oh, right. I was afraid you were going to bring that up again. Very well, let's see if I embarrass myself or not. My colleagues, I venture out into the darkness of space once again. Many of you have expressed concern. At my age, you say? Surely the risks are too great. Surely Sebastian Banks has earned a rest. Nonsense, I say. To go out into the unknown, to brave the possibility of never coming back, to ignite the spark of hope that humanity will find answers out there in the stars? That is all I have ever wanted. If this last expedition is my time, then I say, I have been fortunate. I have been fortunate to leave surrounded by people who could not be more different from one another, but who share a common purpose. That, dare I say, I am fortunate. My soul has a home it can always come back to. And that, was the last thing Sebastian Banks ever said in the Lodge before he disappeared. And Constellation has been waiting for him to come home ever since. Oh no. You have any idea how much of my time gets wasted by people who start conversations with that line? <sighs> All right, let's get it over with. What amazing situation have you discovered that I can't possibly afford to pass up? Every bar, huh? It's that good. You can personally vouch for this. Right? Simple and definitive. I like that. If it were anyone else, I might be inclined to nod politely, express some vague enthusiasm, and suggest setting up a meeting that never happens. But, I think you and I have been through enough that I'll trust you and take a chance on this. All right, here's what you're going to do. Go pay a visit to my lovely wife in Neon and tell her I said I've been thinking about rereading Jules Verne. You do that, and we'll get the necessary paperwork underway.
a moment. I don't know where to start. I need you to tell me what on earth possessed you to side with the Crimson Fleet and betray UC Sisteth. Have you completely lost your mind? <laughs> it's almost as though I don't know you anymore. No, I'm not going to calm down. Don't you realize that by strengthening the Crimson Fleet, you've done irreparable damage to the United Colonies? Not to mention the fact that you've exposed the rest of the settled systems to one of its most dangerous enemies. It had better be good, because you've got a lot to explain. I suppose that changes everything. I can totally understand how recovering Crix's legacy completely eclipses unlocking the mysteries of the entire universe. No, I don't think that I do. And nothing you can say is going to make me change my mind. Look, you're free to do whatever you want. I was merely pulling you aside to speak to you as a friend. What you choose to do with my advice is completely up to you. What's happening, darling? Or isn't any time. <laughs> I can't believe how perfectly we were made for each other. I wouldn't trade my life with you for anything else in the universe. If it keeps us close, then I'll gladly say those words every time you ask. Yes? Security, you're under arrest. Searching a fine, upstanding citizen like you would be a waste of time. Still gotta go to the station, though.
No funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough flight traffic as it is. I know your type. Free wheel and space ace. I'm afraid I'm always in the middle of preparing for the next board meeting. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. Oh, has he now? My dear young man, what have you talked him into? Hmm, and what better way than to leverage a starship builder? How very clever. Back before Walter and I married, he confessed that he had stashed away a credit stick in a copy of Around the World in 80 Days. Somewhere between a rainy day fund and a slush fund, he said he'd always had a bit of extra money set aside in case opportunities arose. I can't really fault him. They're his credits. He can do as he likes. But over the years, it's become something of a joke between us. When he wants to take a chance on something, it's his way of asking without asking if it's all right with me. I suppose it is. Sweeter when it pans out, but he does have a nose for these things. I'll draw up the appropriate paperwork for the funds. Thank you for bringing me his message. I hope Constellation is treating you well, and that Walter is keeping your budget reasonable. Hell of a view for me. 
It is. something Will you take me with you? Uh, I guess that's goodbye then. Uh, safe travels! If I can get if I can get some buy-in on this venture, it will really take off. You know, I had a guy in here last week ranting that General Shao ought to send the Marines down into the well. I'm usually all for letting folks speak their mind. Most times it can't be helped after a few drinks. But that was just too much. Anybody stuck living in the well, it almost certainly isn't by choice. And things down there aren't that bad. Whoa. This is really happening. Okay, I, I just lost the ability to think for a moment there. Hang on, give me a second. Whoa, all right. That's really fantastic news. But we can't celebrate just yet. We're going to need at least one more solid investor. Oh, I'm sure he could fund most of the business in New Atlantis if he doesn't already. That's not the point. If I put this all in the hands of a single investor, whoever that is suddenly has a lot of influence. If I have at least two investors to start, then one person isn't pulling all the strings, if any strings have to get pulled. Have I mentioned I'm not great with metaphors? So, having Walter backing us is fantastic, but I'd feel much better if there was a third party involved. If you know anyone, 
Now's the time to call in a favor. Stop by any time you'd like to catch up. Walter Stroud likes my idea. Well, sort of. Actually, did he say he liked it, or are we assuming? <laughs> Very clever. You are kidding, right? You do? I mean, are you really serious about this? Look, I will gladly take your credits if it means you and I can be partners on this. But I'm not trying to guilt you into it. So before you commit, I'm going to give you one last chance to back out. Okay? Wow. Wow. This is so amazing. It's you and me. Well, and Walter. But I'm sure it'll all work out. I'm afraid there's not much in the moment I can do to really thank you for this, but I promise you it will pay off. I've got some people to talk to, and a trip to Galbank in my future. Thank you again so much. Well, that's what I'm here for. What'll it be? See you around. Corporate policy requires me to state that everything Terabrew offers is my favorite. Double dairy and no whip? Certainly. Please take your time. No, I will not make whatever it is you just said. Because this place is a disorganized mess. What you ask me to do is literally impossible. Fine. You want to organize? There's a mop in the back. See if you can't. Organize a little floor cleaning operation. Outrageous. Hello, and welcome. Certainly. Please take your time. Excuse me.
wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. No, probably not. Oh, thank you so much. Soon I'll be coursing with bountiful energy. I'll be the most enthusiastic janitor in New Atlantis. <laughs> Here, take this. I found it while I was cleaning. I figured you might find a use for it. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. See you around. You have another story for me? I already interviewed an ex-pirate about the robbery. But she was as reliable as good coffee around here. So you were there when it went down? What were you doing there? Well then, let's continue, Mr. Not Really Relevant. Tell me about this Captain Petrov. I've heard he was a bit of an eccentric. What was your impression of him? You did meet him before he died? I would have loved to have seen it. I'm sure it would make a good story right there. No one seems to know exactly what was stolen. But everyone agrees it was valuable. Care to shed some light on it? Artifact, you say? I've been hearing whispers about those lately. Last question. About, and I'm quoting, a zoo gone wild. The other source swore up and down that alien creatures got out of their cages and went on a rampage. Please, please, please tell me she was telling the truth. It's got to be some aurora-induced hallucination. Some days, it is worth it to get out of bed. I love it. This is just a plain old good story. Check the newsfeed for it later. And here's your payment. You talk and get paid. I spread the news. It's a classic win-win. This news is titanic. The ripples from Sistaf essentially being taken out of the picture. I think we're just starting to see them. So, I'm guessing you weren't with the good guys? Some policies you need to know. SSNN protects its sources, and for me, I never, and I mean never, reveal a source. So anything you say to me, won't get back to you. Assuming you're good with that. What was your involvement? No beating around the bush with you. So... The Vigilance went to the Key, and one hell of a space battle ensued. And somehow, at the end of that, the Vigilance was commandeered, and Sisdef has been dealt a massive blow. Maybe fatal. Any comment? Jesus. I mean, I imagine that was one tall order. I have to ask, why? Reading between the lines here, you helped the Crimson Fleet enormously. Piracy is going to get worse, so much worse. Again, why?
You got it. I'll talk with publishing, but expect to see this soon. This is just me speaking as a human being here. But I hope you don't come to regret too much what you did. I know if I can help you. Having a good one? Think about the trade business? Who you know matters as much as anything else. If there's something you need, no matter what it is, either I have it or I can get it. Be my guest. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit. Everything good? We're here to help. Hi. You're looking at getting into bounty hunting for the Trackers Alliance? Get yourself set up with a job from one of the mission boards in town. Not everyone's cut out for this line of work, but you'll be fine and get paid as long as you follow our motto, show no mercy, leave no quarter. I've got one I don't mind sharing with you. There was one time I had to track down one of our own someone I once called friend. She'd gone rogue. We have lists of our members and their contact information kept secret for obvious reasons. This one. She had hacked into our systems and began to distribute lists to the highest bidders. 
You can imagine many people would kill to have this information. So I had to track her and stop her before she could make the first delivery. Let me tell you, it's not easy to hunt someone who knows all your tactics and techniques. But I found her. And when I did, I silenced her for good. We are, quite simply, an alliance of bounty hunters. Some of us share resources, some of us go it alone. But the organisation makes it easier for us to do our jobs and legitimises our work, so that rather than being paid vigilantes, we are part of the system. Various people approach the Alliance looking for those living on the land. We use our unique skills to find and deal with them. On you. That's news to me. Although I have heard about someone paying bounty hunters to get rid of a few special targets. Let's see. Yep, it looks like that's you. My condolences. Still, that's got to be a mistake. I can clear this up for you, if you're willing to part with some creds to grease the wheels. 3,000 creds ought to do it. All right. Let me know if you change your mind. I can, and I will. But know this, bounty hunting can be difficult work, so make sure you're prepared before you set out. If you think you have what it takes, then you can find Tracker's Alliance jobs listed on mission boards, with payment delivered upon completion. I'll point you in the right direction, but after that, you're on your own. Follow the motto, and you'll be fine. Show no mercy, leave no quarter. It's dangerous out there. Watch your back. Hey there. Something I never a dull day for security in the well. You ask me, the real New Atlant- I got contacts all over. Stock may not be so reliable, but I got ways of getting things. A lot of people will tell you it's the worst. One step above being homeless. They'll whine about how folks topside have it so much better. Me? I like it. It's more real down here. Topside, everyone's trying to show how civilized and rich they are. Oh, it's exhausting. But, hey, to each their own. Look around, you tell me. You see is a big organization. A lot of planets, a lot of people, a whole lot to keep track of. Sometimes, they don't do such a good job of that. Sometimes, stuff falls through the cracks, winds up collecting dust in some warehouse. But, that's all right, because I, by extension, you get to benefit. I make great deals on stuff in bulk, you get some low prices. Everyone wins. Absolutely. Hey, take it easy.
I'll look into Jonah Crew. Any openings? Defensive systems. Basically, I can fine tune your seals to keep your enemy from damaging anything you can afford to lose. Oh well, can't blame me for trying. Any vacancies on your crew? Suit yourself. Pardon. I'm looking for work. You hiring? Do you have room for one more on your crew? Anything I good to see you. There's a huge tree in the end. Trust me. Or maybe I just love trees. Until next time. Seems like the crimson fleet is again. Troubles you need to share? Always. Point the way and we'll be off. Kila would be a quaint world to retire on, if the damn wildlife wasn't so hostile.
has told me so many stories about Aquila City. <laughs> I feel as though I've lived here all my life. wouldn't be the Charybdi system, would it? We got a report of a distress call out there. But we don't have the ships to send someone that far out. Uh, this doesn't really look like much of a zoo. Like a sideshow attraction. to do some good for the city? Let me know. I'll take all the help I can get. Got a moment to hear about the Low House? It mean a lot to me and to others. Good to know there's still some folks who can take an interest in the welfare of others. The Low House is a place where folks down on their luck can get a hot meal and a bed to sleep in. More importantly, they can do it with some dignity. No need to beg or steal. Everything's given with no questions asked and no favors owed. I run the place. Have for years. But to do it, I have to rely on the kindness of others. <laughs> That's right. And most people want to. Sometimes they just need a helping hand to pull them up from a dark place and set them on their feet again. Look, I'll be honest with you. We get a little help from some other wealthier folks in the city. But it's barely enough. It takes credit to provide for those in need. And I'm hoping you'll be willing to contribute. If you can spare a few credits. It'll do a lot of good. Thank you. I don't know if you believe in karma, but I do. I think you just end yourself some. The Low House can only help the community because of generous donations. The weather has been good, so things are good. Ah, if you don't have a home when it gets cold or rainy, that's when it gets rough. This means a great deal to me and the community. Keep it up and we'll have to name something after you. Sincerely, thank you for your donation. I'll make sure it is put to good use. This means a great deal to me and the community. Running the low house is tough. This means a... Takes everything. This means a great... Every credit count. This means a great deal to Hmm. This... This... Takes everything I've got. This means a... Hmm. This means a great... Every credit counts. Your donation means someone has food in... If you're serious, I'm drowning in work. Philborn Agricultural Systems fits basically everyone in the stretch. Bless the Philborn brothers. But their latest IntelliWeed shipment is late. I'm not worried yet, but 
getting there. Could you ask Sarah Philborn what the holdup is, very politely? We buy it at a deep, deep discount, below their costs. I know not everyone approves of Henry getting more into brewing, but I don't care. The whole family has earned my eternal thanks. Not a chance. If there's anything you can do to speed up the wheat delivery, please do it. I'll have more work for you when you get back. The rock isn't exactly massed, but as seats of government go, it's still quite an impressive structure. Sorry, I thought you were somewhere else. It's true. My husband runs one of the most successful businesses in the Freestar Collective. But I still think we can do better. If you're here for Weston, he's underfoot somewhere. Either here or at the factory. But please, if it's about that brewing nonsense, kindly leave. They don't need any more encouragement. Oh, sorry. My nerves are frayed. So many people coming and going for the company. Weston, that's my husband. Well, he's never been what I'd call a dreamer or a visionary. He's a practical man, good with ledgers and numbers. His brother Henry's the creative one, but he seems to have lost interest in growing the company, and now all he wants to do is brew beer. Philburn Agricultural Systems could provide the whole of the settled systems with food, not just Aquila City. Seems those two are content to think small. Well, I wish you were the one I had to convince. Well, you didn't come here to hear me natter on. Anything else? And try to come between Weston and his brother? They'd never allow it. Oh, I've tried to drop hints and make suggestions, but it all falls on deaf ears. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, of course. The company's healthy and Weston and I live well enough. I just, I'd like to help, you know? I'd like to be a part of things instead of feeling like I'm playing second fiddle. I suppose I should just accept my lot and try to find peace with it. Well, no, not as such. I mean, the business is doing just fine, but it could be doing even better. Those knuckleheads have so much God-given talent and I just wish they used it better. I know, we're late. It's been this whole frustrating episode. Short version, 
The farming equipment outside the walls needs to be manually rebooted. But the guards aren't going to be able to send people to fix it for days. We're committed to helping the unfortunates on the stretch, but the Ashta are just too dangerous for us to send someone. The full story would take ages. Henry is supposed to be on top of production issues, but his precious latest batch of beer is at a critical point, whatever the hell that means. And Aldwin Wright's robots should have been overhauled a month ago, but he's just one man and all of Aquila needs him pretty much all the time. So whether we're supposed to or not, Weston and I are handling it. You must be new to Aquila City. Outside the city walls are dangerous predators. They've been the bane of colonists from day one. Only well-armed and well-trained people walk outside. Otherwise, they become just the latest statistic. You would do that? If you get it rebooted, I'll get the harvest going ASAP. We can get the weed to Amira quick. I'll talk with my husband, but I'm sure we could arrange payment. You'd be helping our business too, after all. Just. Just be careful. Ashta are very dangerous. open up the gate and go out there, it's on their own head. But if they're far afield, they got no idea what they're in for. You want to warn them? You know I don't like talking to strangers. Then you chose a hell of a profession. Best you stay inside. If not, your funeral.
be certain to stock up on some extra ammunition before we explore the wilderness around the city. Any paperwork we need to file to clear it out? Is it zone for commercial use? This isn't the UC. As long as you are courteous to the neighbors, do what you want. We're still waiting on the loan from Galvin. Now, I must warn you, man, that Oak and Aquila are very particular about doing business with the UC. When they see our prices, I'm sure they'll come back. As you see. The emergency fund's empty, so please, hurry. That is good, good news. Uh, what was the holdup, anyway? Oh, dear lord. Please, you have to know I had no idea. Don't... don't take any risks like that again, please. The Law House is a mission of mercy. I don't want anyone to be hurt on our account. I hate to ask it, but this next errand should be safe. Easy. Everything runs on charity. And our benefactors, though kind, I think sometimes... Well, get sick of seeing me. A new face may ease up the purse strings. Or at least save me some errands. It's touch and go sometimes. Best are too much, and they could turn their back on the project. Too little, and people suffer. So, the mayor, Elias Cartwright, has always been generous to us, but it's been a while since he's donated. Raisha Lance is a huge benefactor. Laredo Firearms has been vital for us. Both of those are routine. More polite reminders, really. The last is a long shot, probably futile. But the Trade Authority is incredibly wealthy, and they have never ever donated to us. If you could convince Duncan Lynch to give us anything, heck, a single credit even, I'd consider it a victory. Only if you can do so without ruffling feathers. We need Cartwright and Lance. But if you can, that would be enormously helpful. Once you're done with that, come back to me. Thank you for your time.
Aquila City truly is the jewel of the Free Star Collective. Good to meet you, friend. Name's Elias Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. Ah, that'd be Solomon Coe, who stuck a shovel in the ground right here over 160 years ago. That first settlement grew to become the city you see today. And let me tell you, it was no small hardship to make that dream a reality. Yes, indeed, this place has a proud and noble history. Why, for some of us, it's practically hallowed ground. That's why I like to meet each and every person who comes here to make sure they know what a special place our city is. You're more than welcome. As I'm sure you know, us folk in the Free Star Collective put great stock in human kindness and generosity of spirit. I like to think that's what sets us apart from our neighbors in the United Colonies. We don't rely on machines or bureaucracy. We rely on each other. I won't pry about what brought you here. That's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core and Midtown. Midtown's where most of the business and trading gets done. It's not as old as the core because it was built later as the city grew. As the name might suggest, Wallside's the district that runs along the inside of the Great Wall that surrounds the city. It's mostly farmers and other laborers that live down there. They ain't got quite as much space, but it's cheaper, so it all works out. Ah, you must be referring to The Rock. It's home to the largest and oldest cantina in town. That's also where the Council of Governors holds its occasional strategy meetings. As mayor of the city, I have a seat on the council. The Free Star Rangers are headquartered in the upper floors. They've got the best view of the city. I like to think that means they're always keeping an eye on the rest of us. I have to say, I sleep a little easier knowing the Marshal and his rangers are up there protecting the Free Star Collective. You really are new around here, aren't you? Aquila's every bit as dangerous as it is beautiful. There are creatures out there that pose a mortal danger to anyone caught out in the open. Foremost among them is the Ashtar. They're quick, strong, clever, and dab good hunters. I'd tell you more, but you might not sleep so good. Thankfully, the wall keeps them out. As long as you stay on the right side of it, you've got nothing to worry about. You've got a few choices there. The cantina in the rock is famed throughout the settled systems for serving the best brew that credits can buy. The hitching post ain't been open long, but most folks seem to like it. If you're looking for a quick drink before moving on, give it a try. Aggie's is a bit of an acquired taste, you might say. Folks who prefer a venue that's a little more rough and tumble tend to feel at home there. Like I said, lots of options. The core is the oldest district and represents the original settlement dating back to the days of Solomon Co. The descendants of the original settlers still make their home there today. Frank's just the latest owner of the old Hussanov Manor, and he's the worst, simply the worst. But it's been a problem since the Hussanov family ran out of heirs. There's no wrong the Cartwrights have been trying to write for decades. And hence, well, I need help. He's just another slick, rude, neon corporate hack, full of himself and just awful. I mean, the core is history itself. Cads like him don't belong here. I was right to talk to you about this. The last Hossanov was Sahar, sad tale there. <sighs> By all accounts, when she lost her last grandchild around 40 years ago, well, it broke her. She packed up and just plain left the estate. 
built some farm far from Aquila City and the protection of its walls. It didn't take long before the Ashta overran the farm, and just like that, no more Hossanovs. A lot of folks thought the same. So I need someone to go to the old Sahar farm, brave the Ashta, and see if she left a will. I swear I'll honor her wishes. Akila owes her family that much. And if it happens to kick Mr. Big Shot out of the core, well, that would be a bonus. Sahar left no heirs, no instructions. So everything the Hassanovs owned was in limbo. What happened to the estate? Well, you'd have to be a lawyer to make heads or tails of it. But eventually it wound up on the open market, so slick neon corporate shills could grace our community. If she named any heir, we could get the estate back where it belongs. See things made right. You are a blessing. Zahar's farm is elsewhere on the planet. If you can't handle Ashta, please just don't go. I don't want this whole sordid story to have more tragedy. Be careful, and look out for yourself. Like I said, be careful. I'd rather you forget the whole Hasanov business rather than getting hurt. What day is it? Oh, shoot! I forgot. I'll send over my usual monthly donation to Amira. She truly is a wonder. And with the building project her and Mr. Tate are planning, there may be a day when the stretch is a distant memory. Well, for me, unlike the UC, we don't tax our people to death. The city's budget is very tight, so it forces the community to look after its own. I don't expect an outsider to understand how Aquila City has been run for generations. Are we done? A genuine pleasure talking to you. With the trade authority? Whatever you need, you got it. Yeah, take a look at this. Stay safe, darling. Welcome to Aquila City's Trade Authority. The Trade Authority has a firm policy of not getting involved in internal matters. We're neutral in all affairs of the governments of the Free Star Collective and the United Colonies. The Trade Authority's image is doing quite well already. Thank you very much. I'm done discussing this matter.
What brings you to the Trade Authority? The Trade Authority looks to partner with local governments to find mutually beneficial arrangements. The Trade Authority has a firm policy. We're neutral in all affairs. You can't be... It's a matter of precedent. If we give even a little, we open ourselves up for endless rounds of... begging. No, not one credit. Sorry. I'm done discussing this matter. What brings you to the Trade Authority? Aquila City is bustling. One of the busiest Trade Authority branches in the galaxy. I'm the local representative for the organization. In that capacity, I work with merchants, business people, and local leaders to make sure trade flows regularly and efficiently to and from the city. With the long lag times of interstellar communication, we wanted to have someone here in person to talk face to face and make quick decisions. After all, the Trade Authority's work is vital to the continued growth and prosperity of Aquila City. Well, like the name says, we promote and facilitate interstellar trade. I won't bore you with all the minutiae and laws, contracts, regulations, and the like. What I will say is that a steady flow of goods and services from one place to another is vital to the stability and survival of the settled systems. A scarcity of resources would lead to unrest, anarchy, and maybe even war. Nobody wants that. I do have need of a courier. A simple job. The timetable isn't even an issue. But it requires discretion and no questions. <sighs> That's a question, but... It's a simple piece of paper. What's on the paper is for the recipient's eyes alone. We clear? Take this message to the den. There's a trade authority rep there, Marcel. Just give the paper to him. If you could take a roundabout path to get there, that would be best. And that's the last we will speak of this. You'll see mission boards typically near starports throughout the settled systems, usually in a bar. Several companies and organizations utilize the mission boards to post one-off jobs for freelancers, like yourself, presumably. Got it. into the universe itself. Do you have business with the Trade Authority? The Trade Authority has a firm policy of not getting involved in internal matters. We're neutral in all... If Aquila City can't figure out how to solve its own internal problems, why should it fall to me? I'm done discussing this matter. You have a great day.
trade authorities are always looking for new opportunities. The trade authority looks to partner with local governments to find mutually beneficial arrangements. Welcome to Aquila City's Trade Authority. The Trade Authority. We're neutral in all affairs. Sorry. I dutifully follow the policies laid out by the Trade Authority. I'm done discussing this matter. If you ever need to deal with the Trade Authority, drop by. Aquila City is bustling. The Trade Authority. We're neutral in all affairs. You can't be. It's a matter of precedent. No, not. I'm done discussing this matter. Nice to have some civilized conversation. Let me guess. <laughs> you missed me and you couldn't stay away. Actually, yes, I do. Here you are. I'll be counting the minutes to our next chat. Beer bottles and graffiti is the least we owe them. Yes, Miss Lance. I think you'll find that we carry fine weapons of all kinds here. Indeed. As a matter of fact, they're made in this very building. You're standing in the storefront of the Laredo Firearms Factory. I designed and manufactured every firearm for sale here. As such, I can offer you my personal assurance they're of the highest quality. When a CEO distances herself from the customers, her decision-making suffers. Here I get to see what matters, what sells, what doesn't, and why. It's invaluable. Plus, it's better than the endless meetings. Oh, so Amira has some help? Good. She's going to work herself into an early grave if she's not careful. Laredo Firearms prides itself in helping out all the residents of Aquila City. I'll send Justin over to deliver our monthly donation. The trite answer would be a sense of civic responsibility. But the truth? Guilt. To achieve the level of success I have, broken promises, neglected loved ones, and tough calls. Donations like this are a way of making amends. In the future, I prefer dealing with Amira. Let's change the subject, shall we? Right away.
You have a nice day now. Cartwrights have been donating to the Low House for generations. Don't let Raisha fool you. She built and owns a powerful corporation. Not that you would know it. Might be Elias and Raisha both sent their donations. Thank you. No word from the trade authority. I'm sorry I even asked. I like to believe everyone is capable of empathy and compassion, but people like Duncan test my faith. Have trouble looking after our own much less I didn't say that but I'm not going to correct you Sarah Philborn gave me these credits to give to you for your help with the farm you more than deserve it that could go to our people the Jansons aren't the whole United colonies they're just people and people say I'm too altruistic I have one more thing for you to do but I hope it's more of a reward. This is part of the Intelliwit Harvest. I'd like you to deliver it to Simone Jansen and her family. I want you to see the fruits of your labors. I think I'm going to get my Facebook. Thank you for saving my husband. Amira said to expect you. This wheat ensures my family won't go to bed hungry. I, I genuinely don't know what my family would do without Amira. And uh, you... You have no idea how much it means. She does. Whether... Rain or shine, she's there for us, always smiling, always comforting. I... I didn't believe in saints before I got to Aquila City, but I do now. Over here in Aquila, it's humbling to see regular people just looking after us. On behalf of my family, of my daughter, bless you.
Captain. Greetings. Anything interesting in range?
Greetings, Captain. It was a pleasant change of scenery. Yes, you need me? for a sidearm. Three pickups today? Yeah. Might get some more on the back end. <laughs> Your casserole sealed the deal. Uh, don't you need to wait for the contract to be signed? <laughs> this ain't the UC. We shook hands and the deal's done. Should have the contract signed tomorrow. My cousin works for Deimos, and he says the approval process for a big deal can take months. That's life under the boot for you. Business keeps going this good, it'll make dealing with these pretentious core jerks worth it. 
Aquila City has to be the worst port in the settled systems. Aquila City is lucky that Hope Tech still deals with them after the reception I've gotten. I come here offering business, employment opportunities, and they practically spit in my face. I'm a senior vice president. Cut my teeth with mineral acquisitions for some of the pricier things we need for the ships. I was really, really looking forward to having my own region to manage. But now... Mm, that's right on the money there. So Ron Hope assigns me to Aquila City. And I'm excited, right? Could be a plum assignment. But I need a place to sleep here. So I bought some prime real estate for me and my girl. Ah, oh, damn it, you'd think I plowed through a sacred burial site. Listen, I'm not the one selling some priceless historical manor. That's not on me. That's just the thing, isn't it? It's not really. All the manors on the core were built by the founders. But this isn't some sort of sacred ground, right? It's just housing. And the owners before, some nobody third-tier family. <laughs> but it's the core. <laughs> like I care. And give them the satisfaction? <laughs> Never. Thanks for hearing me out. Hope you have a better day than I've had. You're damn right I don't. In fact, I almost feel sorry for them. Bunch of wrong-headed, judgmental, backward-looking dust wranglers. That's what these people are. Every credit I spent on that house, I made with honest, hard work. They come here to make my way, and this is how they treat me. I can tell they're all hoping I sell and move out, but the hell with that. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here and stick it to them all. Make them suffer! I committed the great sin of buying a house. The fact it was in the core is apparently grounds for me to face a firing squad, based on the looks I've been getting. Everyone seems to think the core is some kind of sacred ground, only fit for worthy descendants of the city founders to live in. Well, real estate is real estate. I don't give a damn where it is. The place was for sale, and I bought it. I didn't cheat or do anything wrong. If people don't like it that an outsider bought one of their ancient family residences, then it's their problem and not mine. Who the who? Wait, wait. Hasanov? You mean the family that owned this manor? Oh, hell. Elias Cartwright. That man's always had it out for me. My credits are as good as anyone else around here. I got a business proposition. 10,000 credits, and I take that alleged will off your hands. No questions asked. You're a smart one. If you can just tell Elias or whoever, you didn't find anything, I'd be very thankful. I really like it here. I just wish the people in the city were a little nicer. My, my, my. You aren't from around here, are you? Sahar was so sad near the end. 
But her lawyer would have surely made her draft a will. Ah, hell. Pardon the language. I knew it was a long shot. Well, you risked your neck, and I couldn't let you go away empty-handed. Thank you. Hopefully, you're not some UC. keep my eye on you. That's a real suspicious thing to say. You better pick your words carefully around here. See, I work for the Freestar Rangers. I'm the first ever Ranger Surveillance Assistant. And that's not some dumb made up title. Ranger Emma Wilcox gave it to me, so it's official. That's right. She's a senior ranger, which means she's in charge of me and all the other rangers. Well, except Diego, because he's a senior ranger too. Oh, and the marshal. He's in charge of all the rangers. I watch people and listen to them. If I hear something about smuggling or Aurora or gangs, I tell the rangers. It's easy, because no one pays attention to kids. Plus, I know a lot of good hiding places all over the city. I'm the best ranger surveillance assistant that ever lived. Someday, I'll teach other kids the tricks of the trade. And I'd prepare the next generation because I won't be here forever. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna be a law-abiding citizen? Or are you gonna be on my list? I list the people who might be troublemakers, so I have to wash them extra close. You don't want to be on my list. I had a feeling you say that. It's that look in your eye that says, I don't care about the law. Well, if I was you, I'd watch my step around here. Because this Aquila City is under the protection of the Free Star Rangers. Ain't no lawbreaker who can get away from them. Once the Rangers are after you, you're as good as got. Don't say you ain't been warned. Aquila City is just crawling with crime. It's everywhere. And it's up to us rangers to do something about it. And ranger surveillance assistant. Someone's stealing guns and stuff from Laredo Arms. And none of the adults believe us. So we're hoping, you know, you can help us break it all open. Because they're dumb. I gave security whole lists of crimes and leads, and they barely pay attention anymore. I'm practically doing their job for them. Certainly. I was doing my ranger patrol one night, and there was a suspicious character casing Laredo arms. I watched him as long as I could, but I had to rush home for bedtime. First thing in the morning, I came back and interrogated Justin Sneed. And he said they were tracking down an inventory discrepancy. I told him about the suspicious stranger, but Mr. Sneed didn't believe me. I couldn't prove anything, but the suspect was acting all sorts of funny. He was trying to make sure no one could see him. My mom says you have to listen to your gut in this business. I just know he's a thief. I've checked back regularly with Mr. Sunni. Well, up until he told me I'm trespassing. And he said their new inventory system keeps, um, hiccuping. But it's no hiccup, it's robbery. This case was too big for just one ranger, so I deputized Emily. 
I'm an assistant ranger surveillance assistant. Or, um, something like that. And we found out that the thief breaks in most nights. But, like, really late. He's got his own key card. We just need to catch him. Security will believe you. Emily caught him opening the side door one night. That's when we knew for sure we have an actual criminal here. We did all the things. Crime scene investigated. Witnesses interviewed. And suspect taped. You two are quite the little pair of detectives now, aren't you? I followed the suspect all day. He had no idea. You're doing Aquila City a big service. Best I figure, he's there around midnight. You need to wait for him to exit Laredo, then catch him red-handed. We need to bring him to justice. The suspect has been at Laredo every night. I've seen it myself. some kind of an acrobat. Have my attention. Talk about seeing stars.
How did you catch me? What? Uh, shit. I, uh, yeah? I, I, I can explain. It's not... Oh, hell. Oh, God, no. Security. Anybody move. Let's see. <laughs> if it ain't the hero of Galbank. And who do we have here? Looks like you're carrying a lot of weapons for a nighttime stroll. I... I... Hell, I give up. Smart move. I got a tip something was going down tonight. Was little Annie actually right about all this? Now that's a terrifying thought. I got it from here. Aquila City owes you again. And, uh... Thank Annie for me. Dear God, she's never gonna let us hear the end of this. I'm not used to having the tube out. But it's nothing that would keep me from getting back out there. We need to give it more time, Harry. Guess that means you won't be telling the Marshal that I'm approved for field duty. Not yet. There could still be a setback, and I need to be close at hand if that happens. Fine, fine. But you should know that I'm crawling the walls in here. You just take it easy. Shouldn't be long now. Well, hey there. You get in a scrape, best come see me after. Trying to go out the place in broad daylight? Seems that way. That's pretty crazy, even by Shark Hank standards. Well, nobody ever accused those boys of having an overabundance of I, uh... common sense. Ain't that the truth? Need something? <gasps> Did you catch the thief? Tell me it worked. Annie, what are you doing up? It's way past your bedtime. Mom, I have to know. You got him, right? Right? I knew it! Annie L. Wilcox, what did you do? I, I told you about it. You know the Laredo robberies? Well, we caught the thief. Wait, so that's real? Of course, Mom. I told you. I, um, she's telling the truth. You're not pulling my leg, right? I, oh boy, I, Annie, we'll talk more about this later. But I'm proud of you. But you've got to be careful. Yes, Mom. I'm going to be the best ranger surveillance assistant ever. Thank you for helping my girl and anything else involved. Take this. Lord, preserve me. I'm always watching. The rangers will find all the bad people. Good to see you. A lot of famous people visit Aquila. Popping back a beer, you never know who you'll meet. Well, hey there. Got into a tussle with a Shaw Gang smuggling ship in Kodos orbit. Had a limp back to Aquila City, with my ride mostly in one piece. It was a bit of a hard landing, you might say. Got a few broken ribs and a concussion. Turns out, one of those ribs punctured a lung. Had a breathing tube in for a spell, but that's gone now. 
Seems I'm healing up pretty good. Last I saw, it was on fire and doing a swan dive into the Kodo sky. Lux half of everything, or so they say. I also like to think skill had a little something to do with it. Right now, not much of anything. Doc says I need a rest. Meanwhile, I've been trying to make myself useful, reading dispatches and reports and such. That way, when I'm cleared for field duty, I'll know the lay of the land. A year or two back, I shared a drink with Ron Hope. That man can drink. Don't be causing trouble now. I feel for the folk in the stretch. I try and give a credit or two to the low house when I'm able. Next time, security is going to take me seriously. Hiya. What can I do for you? Play hard. That should be the Freestar motto.
Lightning struts primed. Retro is firing. Keep an eye out for hostile life forms. 